Hi students, in last class we completed up to exercise 3.4 sum. Now we will move to the fifth sum. The measure of that of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. Okay, adjacent angles are in the ratio 3 is to 2. So let the adjacent angles be 3x and also 2x but we uh, but we know that in a parallelogram adjacent angles are complementary if you add these two angles you want to get 180 degree so i am going to write that only um, adjacent angles are complementary side yes adjacent angles are supplementary Okay, therefore 3x plus 2x equal to 180 degree. If you add 3x and 2x means you will get 5x. 5x equal to 180 degree. We need x alone. So, I keep the x here itself. If the 5 come this side means it will come and divide. Okay, I am cancelling this. 1, 5 is 5. 3, 5 is 15. Carrying 3. 6, 5 is 30. So, x equal to 36 degree. But we need the adjacent angle that is 3x and 2x. Therefore, adjacent angles 3x equal to 3 into 36, 3 into 36, 108 degree. Next to 2x equal to 2 into 36, that means we will get 72 degree. Okay, that's all. We will move to the sixth sum. See here, two sixes sum, two adjacent angles of the parallelogram have equal measure. Both are both adjacent angles are so same. Now find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. They are asking four angles also. Okay. See here, two adjacent angles are equal. Okay. See here. And parallelogram adjacent angles are supplementary if you add two angles means you will get 180 degree but they told two also equal so x plus x equal to 180 degree so x plus x 2x equal to 180 degree for x equal to 180 degree divided by 2 if you cancel you will get 90 degree so x equal to 90 degree okay see here this is the parallelogram okay adjacent angle here 90 degree here 90 degree so here opposite angles are equal so here also it will come 90 degree here also it will come 90 degree so all the angles will be 90 degree so i am going to write that only see here mm. opposite angles are equal therefore all the angles are equal that angle is 90 degree therefore all the angles will be 90 degree now we will move to the seventh sum seventh sum the adjacent figure hope hop hope is a parallelogram this figure is parallelogram find the angle measure x and x y and z state the properties you used to find okay we want to tell the properties also and we want to find out the x y z angle also see here first i am telling for y see here 40 and y is alternate angles alternate angles are equal so y equal to 40 degree i am going to write alternate angles are equal therefore y equal to 40 degree for instant of y we get 40 degree okay see here this is uh, this is one triangle okay h o p is a triangle in triangle h o p exterior angle equal to sum of opposite interior angle i am going to use that see here in triangle h o p exterior angle 
is equal to sum of opposite interior angle therefore y plus z equal to 70 degree y plus z equal to 70 degree for y we know that 40 degree so 40 degree plus z equal to 70 degree we need z only so z equal to 70 minus 40 so z equal to 30 degree okay we got it okay is for z we had 30 degree. okay see here uh, x and this angle is a opposite angle so opposite angles will be equal so here i am taking this angle as a a okay let h o p angle h o p equal to a see here this two angle will be linear pair this is 70 degree means here it will come 110 okay that only i am going to write a plus 70 degree equal to 180 by linear pair okay so a equal to 180 degree minus 70 degree so a equal to 110 degree so a equal to 110 degree opposite angles are equal so x equal to 110 opposite angles are equal therefore x equal to 110 that's how now we will move to the sum, eighth sum eighth sum the following figures guns and runs are parallelogram find x and y lengths are in centimeter okay why from this figure we want to find out x and y value i will form the equation alone you have to find out the values of x and y okay this is the homework for you we itself we know x um, opposite sides will be equal in parallelogram so opposite sides are equal and therefore 3x equal to 18 and also 3y minus 3y minus 1 equal to 26 you have to solve this two equation and get the xy value okay now we are moving to the second sub in eighth seventh subdivision see here here also we want to find out x y is x y only i am going to form the equation i will solve this see here uh, this is diagonal diagonal bisect each other so this will be equal to this one this will be equal to this one okay diagonal bisect each other therefore y plus 7 equal to 20 x plus y equal to 16 okay from the, if you solve this equation you will get y uh, you have to substitute the y value in this equation and solve this equation you have to get your x value okay now uh, you have to find out the x y uh, x y value in this two sums this is the homework for you now in next class we will move to the next sum okay thank you dears